welcome all today in this session i'm going to tell you that how you can write data in the excel using java code in a very easiest way so for that purpose for example this is my you can say uh, folder in this folder there is a file that is called test data excel and this is the test data excel file in which we have first name column middle name column age and there is a column result here okay so now here i will show you that how you can insert some data in the uh, cells of the excel so for that purpose for this understanding purpose i am going to write a logic on the basis of that i am going to put the data here okay uh, so i will use one logic like uh, i will check uh, the age of this age column if the uh, value of the age column is even i will put the result even and if the value of age uh, column is or cell is you can say odd i will put the here odd here okay so i'm going to write this logic for that purpose uh, first of all uh, in the previous video you have already seen that i have already written a you can say a code to read the data from the excel so this is the program for that okay if you want to get the uh, step by step explanation for that you can watch my that video i would put the link of this uh, vid uh, that video in the description of this video so uh, first of all let me run this program so i'm running it and you can see the output in the console that is this printing the data from the you can say that excel so here you can say this is the column name it is printing and then it is printing the data like gayatri chauhan and pradeep and you can see here something like that okay now uh, first of all because we are going to uh, write the logic on the base of this age column so first of all in my program i will read this age cell also so how you can read it so you know that uh, the way of uh, reading the cell is this one like uh, what is the index of cell it is 0 then 1 and it is 2 so i will write a code something like this uh, row dot get cell to here and uh, i will just uh, put in a uh, excel cell reference variable so i am just doing, uh, going to copy this thing and then change the variable name and here i can say this is age cell okay so this is age cell now how i can read the value so you know that i am reading the value something like this so i can read the value from age cell also so i am just uh, uh, making a copy paste of this thing and i will show you that how we can do it so here you can say i'm just uh, giving the variable name age and here you can say because i'm getting the value from a cell so it will be a cell dot you can say a string cell value so it will return the value so in the in my uh, excel this age is uh, stored in the form of a string here so that i'm reading here so let me do one thing i can do one thing i can print this value and see that it is working fine or not so for for testing purpose so that we can proceed so let me run this and let me run it okay so when uh, when i'm running it you can see that it is actually you can see reading the data of the age here so here you can see age is this is the column and then it is reading 56 78 so you can see that same data is here okay now here important thing is that important thing is that uh you can say i want to write some data on the basis of the logic whether the age is even or not so for that purpose, first of all i need to uh, make a condition on this okay so i will do one thing uh, first of all because it is a string value i'm going to convert it into the integer value so how i can do it for that purpose i am just creating a variable age value okay and uh, I, here i'm going to do one thing you know that whenever you want to convert a, a string value in, to the integer we have a function that is called integer dot parse int and here i will pass this value here so now uh, when this function will run uh, it will uh, return the it will read the value from this a cell and will return its integer value but here one thing is important if this code will run it will consider this age also as a first value because but it is a header so we have to ignore it so i will do one thing uh, i am going to put this in a condition like just ignore the first uh, you can say cell first cell or first row you have to ignore so because here i am writing i0 so it will consider the first row first row means this one so i don't want to work on this part because this is the column uh, first name uh, middle name age so i will do one thing uh, that uh, you have to perform this thing only when the value of i is greater than zero why i'm saying i greater than zero because if the i is greater than zero so it will not uh, make this uh, logic on the this header it will start from this one okay so now in this uh, condition i'm going to put this one okay simply control x and let me so now it will read it okay so now let me run it and see that it now it is going to access the values only you can say that uh, 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 only the you can say that uh, simply uh, 
accept the header here. So let me run it. I've just printed here and let me run it. Okay, I have to print the age value. So that I have just converted into the integer. So let me run it quickly then see that it is working fine or not. So yeah, you can see that uh, it is working fine here. And now you can see it is reading from 56 because we have ignored the first way. Now this value, we have to write a logic. So we will simply do one thing. If you can see if the value, how you can check whether it is age is uh, even or odd. So simply we know that for that in Java, we have an option that age modulus two equal equal to zero. It means it will check the condition if the age value Divide by two is equal to zero. It means it is a, uh, you can say even. So here in this case, in the cell, I have to write the, I have to enter the cell in the cell. Uh, what I have to enter? I have to enter the even. And if it is not in that case, I have to enter the, you can say uh, odd here. So I have just put a condition even and odd. So now the question is how we are going to enter data here. So for that purpose, first of all, we have to enter the data in the, this column. This is zero, one, two, and this is, Three. So first of all, we have to get the access of each cell here. So how I'm going to do it here for that purpose here. You have to do one thing. Just go to above here and uh, here you can see that here you can see that uh, we have a row uh, where we can say sorry, we have to create this one here. We are going to create a row. And this time we are not going to say that we are we are not getting the value. We are saying that row dot create cell we are saying that row dot create cell because we are creating the cell here so row dot create cell and here you have to give the index of cell so i will say that three right we have to create a cell three and now we are going to store in a variable like we have given a cell i will give the name like you can say that uh, result cell okay so here what is the difference in case of whenever you are uh, we are whenever you are going to write some data you have to write use create cell not the get cell get cell is to read the data and here i will say that result cell okay now this is the result cell so after that what we have said that we got the result cell here and now we have to set some value so we simply do one thing the uh, the value how i'm going to set it here so here you can say that in my logic in the age value so i'm going to write result cell dot and you can say set cell value there is a function that is called set value so i'm calling this function set value string here so okay set value not this one uh, set cell value this one so i'm calling this and here you can put the uh, like it is if it is even i told you in this condition if the value of age is even i'm going to save even and if this condition is not true in the else part in the cell i'm going to write the you can say odd here okay now this one so now this is the program so let me simply do one thing let me clear the console here and let me uh, try to reduce the line so that you can see everything here uh, like what changes I have done. So, so here you can see that first important thing. Uh, I read the age cell because I'm I want to get the value of the age cell so that I can uh, make a logic on that. Like here you can say that. Okay, so I read the age cell. Then I uh, you can say read the value from the age cell here. Okay, and this is the age. And in my uh, condition, I just first of all I convert the uh, this age into the string value, and I'm printing here. If you don't want, we don't need to print it here now. And now we are simply write a logic. If the value age value is modulus two is equal to zero, it means it is a even. So in the result cell, result cells, this is the result cell. I'm just putting the value with the help of function set value called even else on. Now whenever you are going to write this code, it will uh, run the code and update the value. But how you are going to save this value? that is important so in that case what you have to do when this loop is going to be completed when this loop is going to be completed uh, out of the loop you have to write a code and let me show you let me show you i'm going to do it this loop is completed here so when the loop is completed you have to create a object of now file output stream that is important okay file output stream here okay like you can say that uh, like you can say that for reading the data in the program, you have created the input stream. But if you want to, if you have updated something using this code and you want to save the data, you have to create output stream. So here I'm saying that file output stream, new file output stream, new equal to file output stream. And here we pass the, you can say that, you can say file object, whatever file object you have created. So same file object, this file object, which we have, you can say, open in the, uh, you can say this uh, test data Excel. Now I have opened in the right mode. After that, you have created the, this is the Excel object, right? This is the workbook in which you are reading the data and also you are now you are going to save the data. So just use this object here. And in the object, you have to call simple function dot, 
right and in the right you can say that we have to pass the output stream object here so simply call it and here you have to pass fos and this is the simple code now let me do one thing i'm going to run this program but before running let me close this file because it is important that uh, whenever you are performing some operation the file should be closed in the uh, otherwise it will create a problem so let me run it and now let me run it Okay, so it is running the program and now program is completed and let me open the file see that output is already saved here now or not. So I have opened the file here and now you can see that now you can see that here you can say that in the you can say in the 56 is even so even this is even 79 is odd it is even 81 is uh, odd 82 is even and you can see in this way it is just writing the data uh, It has removed the header because there is a problem because you can say that I have uh, you can say uh, uh, the code of uh, you can say uh, I have uh, you can say written here. So I think this code also the creating the cell uh, it should also be you can say written in the in the loop here. Okay, so or you can say that okay. Uh, okay, uh, you can say that okay art. I can do one thing mm, Let me cut it from here also and let me put it here Okay, so I can do this so that it is not going to override the data of the first two. Otherwise, you can see that it has override the data here. So let me do one thing. Uh, let me again RESULT result. I'm doing it manually here. Okay, and now let me remove all the data from here. Okay, now you can say this is the file here. And now let me close it. Okay, save and close it and let me run this program. So you can see that it uh, using this because you have put the condition this great cell in the you can say uh, from the I1. So now the header will not be removed that happened in the uh, previous case. So let me run it. Okay, now program is completed. Now I will go and just open the Excel and see that the data is updated or not so here you can say that this is the result and result is as it is and now the data is updated you can check that uh, in front of a uh, even number it is even and in front of odd it is odd here okay so now in this way you can write the program i will uh, put this whole program in the description of this video and you can refer it uh, i hope you like the video if you like the video you can put your comments here if you have any type of doubt you can put in the comment of this video if you have not subscribed my channel till now you can subscribe it thank you